So I've been buying a ton of other people's Pokemon collections, but today we have three binders from one single person's collection, and this may very well be the best collection that I've ever picked up. The only problem is I may have overspent a little bit. Maybe a lot, or maybe I got a good deal. To be honest, I'm gonna need your help. Let me know in the comment section at the end of this video whether or not you think I got a good deal, or I just, like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'll share with you the price at the end, and I want you to be brutally honest with me. That's how I learned. It's like, you gotta touch the stove to know it's hot, then you know not to do that anymore. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this Gengar binder. It is absolutely incredible. I'm gonna open it and show you the first page, which is the only page that I've seen. Yo, look at the Gengars. It's a whole page of Gengars. Michael, who is the seller who I met up with earlier, we exchanged the goods. He also wanted to throw in, where did it go? He also wanted to throw in uh, some free Pokemon cards for the community and subscribers. Thank you, Michael. You are amazing. You didn't have to do that. So many generous people in this community have thrown in for this upcoming live stream that we're doing to celebrate hitting 250,000 subscribers. That goes down on September 21st first at noon right here. So subscribe so you don't miss that. But we're gonna open the Gengar binder second. Michael said that this was his trading binder. It's my trade binder. I don't pretty much do anything else with it. Let's open up the trading binder here and let's see what we- Bruh. Michael, okay, it's backwards, jeez. That's happened before where we've gotten binders with literally nothing in it. Freaked me out for a second there. Okay, I'm glad that we didn't get duped. Yo! Dude, this is your trading binder. Look at that, we have a Hollow Wigglytuff from Base Set 2, some Base Set stuff, Clefairy, a Mega Manectric, and a Kangaskhan EX. This is awesome. We definitely have some randomness. I, I like how you threw in the heat right in the beginning there. That's a very good strategy if you're gonna be selling cards. Um, <laughs> So we have the Morpico V Union from the Japanese set. We have a Raichu that is from Evolutions. Okay, some full arts and stuff from Shining Fates. I see some Vs. Let me actually go a higher view here so we get rid of that glare. Actually, let me see if I could. Yeah, that's that's much better. Uh, da, 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 V's, we got some more stuff from Modern, mostly. Some EV promos there from Shining Fates. Ooh, Snorlax promo right there, which is real nice. Yeah, and this is just the trading binder, some amazing rares, so I'm not expecting to see anything, especially when we see like reverse hollow hidden fates cards like that. Dad Bod Rose, let's go, Dad Bod Rose. All right, we got some Detective Pikachu, Porygon Z. Okay, some Ho-Ohs. Oh, what is that? Is that Shining Legends? I'm not sure. We got the 25th anniversary set. What? We just have like three EV promos chilling right here at the top. These are gorgeous. Look at that swirl. Swirls get girls, right? And thank you, Michael, for practicing good binder behavior. You sleeve the cards, they're in good condition, and you're using a legit binder too. Let, let me take this out real quick. All right, there's the EV promo. Look how gorgeous that is in the light. The condition's not bad, actually. For these older promo cards, real, real nice. And you got three of them there. We'll give each of those away to the audience when we go live. And now we have some more Detective Pikachu. Looks like 25th anniversary starters, more 25th anniversary stuff. Okay. And the breaks. I think this makes the entire purchase worth it. We got all the breaks that you, that you ever need, especially the Starmie breaks. We don't actually love breaks. Okay, some commons, uncommons, a little bit of just like regular rares, and I think that's it for the trading binder. Okay, so not really anything crazy. Uh, I like those three Eevee promos, right? You know, we're starting off lightly, but let's get rid of this binder and let's get into the Gengar binder. I love this Gengar right here. He's winking because he knows he's got something good in there. Bam! Oh my gosh, look at that. Yo, we got the Mega Gengars, the Gengar EXs. I think these are from Phantom Forces. Some of these are, I, I don't know exactly which sets are from. We got the tag team. We got the old school Japanese. Look at that Gengar right there. That is really cool to see. Actually, I want to take that one out. Yeah, check that out. So just a little bit of hollow there, but really cool styled Gengar and uh, you gotta love it. We got more Gengars. Look at that. This guy is a Gengar fiend, obviously, because we have a Gengar binder. We also have a Gengar right there. Ooh, we have the fossil Gengars. These are not the hollows, but that's really nice. Spirit Link surprise box. Perfect for Halloween coming up. Oh, what are you guys gonna be for Halloween? Let me know. I don't know why I'm pointing the camera at the camera like, hi, you tell me what you're gonna be for Halloween. That didn't make any sense, but I did it anyway. And so, Tell me what you're thinking about being for Halloween. I'm not exactly sure what I want to be. All I know is I want to be the very best, but 
That's not really a costume. Ooh. Oh, yo, we got the Blastoise promos. We got three of them up here. Look at that. That looks really, really cool. These are the XY promos. Vaporeon back there and the Gyarados. Such a dope looking card. We got three of those as well. They, they, they always come in three, it seems. More Blastoise. And then we have, yes, we got the base set Blastoise. I have to see the condition on this as well. Wow. Wow. So an OG base set, not first edition, not Shadowless either, but uh, just unlimited, but still really, really good. And the condition, wow. Wow. Not bad, a little whitening on the bottom there, but still really, really nice. Michael, well done taking care of your cards and some more Blastoise cards here, which is really cool. Squirtle from Rocket, Dark War Turtle, very cool. Other War Turtles and Squirtle, uh, this one. It's a little jacked though, uh, you know, not so great, but that's all right. Whoa, we got the Arcanine pages. Whose favorite Pokemon is Arcanine? I know there's some of you out there. Look at these hollows from Japan. That is epic. And of course a break, the break is there too. Some more Growlithes, Growlithe, Growlithe, Growlithe. More Growlithe, wow. You really, really loved Growlithe, uh, which is not a bad thing actually. We got, oh, the alternate art Honchcrow. We needed that. That was our final, one of our final cards in the recent challenge we did to complete a set in 24 hours. This was one of the final ones and here it is here. That's awesome that uh, this is from Brilliant Stars. So a Honchcrow page, which is kind of unique and unexpected. We got a Jolteon page. This is, dare I say, electric. Please don't leave. These are great. Dark Jolteon, Jolteon. We got the Jolteon EX full art, some reverses. That's really nice. And we got Frostless three. Gold Frostlesses, who is one of our OG memes of the channel. This was the one right here from Radiant Collection. Suicune in the house. I know there's a lot of you who love Suicune. Where's Pokeballer Mike at? I see you. A, a nice Neo Suicune there as well. Non-hollow, but that's still great. And then on this page, we have some Sceptiles and some Corviknights, Pikachu V Max, Skyla, nice little full art waifu right there, and then Nani? we got some uh, some comments, which is kind of random. Oh, these are crimped. These are crimped. Milkery crimped. Impidimp crimp. Crimpidimp, as you might call it, the crimped cards. Is Skyla crimped? No, you're perfect. Oh, oh, okay. Look at how beautiful these pages. Look, I'm kind of like my OCD wants these to be filled out. But look at that. We got the Arceus V promo card right there. We got the Jolteon V full art, the Jolteon V Max promo. We got the alternate art single strike Urshifu V. We have the Flareon V. I really love this card, by the way. We got the Batman card. Speaking of Batman, we're going to open that binder next. Apparently, there's something great in there. We got the Vaporeon V, the Vaporeon V Max, more Jolteons and Jolteons, Vaporeon again, and then the Flareons as well. That is, that is great. That is great. Just promos galore. Love it. We got Leon and Charizard there. The character rare, which is now featured in the Lost Origins set, I believe. We got more character rares. Love it. We got some full arts as well. And uh, the Galarian Zapdos. Ooh, I like this Pikachu right here. Look at that. I don't know anything about this Pikachu. If you do, let me know in the comment section. I see a Pikachu and what looks like a Shaman and it says Pokemon Center. So it must be some sort of promo that I've, I've actually never seen before. I usually know a bit about the Pikachu promos that were in Japan because I collect those, but I have not seen that one. So you learn something new every day. All right. And I'm not seeing much over here on this side of the binder. And okay, that was uh, a really decent binder for sure. So Gengar looking really good. I think this would look really good on the uh, chair. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> actually look pretty sick. Finally, I am Batman. That was not pretty heavy, so it sounds... Okay, it doesn't sound like anything, but it feels like that there's some, you know, heavy stuff in here, but it could be also full of commons. We actually once got a binder that was literally full of energy cards, and that was kind of depressing, but let's open this up. Okay, here we go. All right, 25th anniversary stuff. Don't laugh, because we still got a lot more binder to go. All right, so it looks like we got a set of the 25th anniversary, Gold Mew. All right, that's cool. 25th anniversary, we got the classic collection. Oh, we got the Charizard in there. Nice. Sometimes I've picked up collections where like the Charizard's gone. Everything else is there, but somebody picked, pulled out the Charizard. So I appreciate you keeping that in there. It looks like we got a nice set of the cards here and uh, that's great. Another set completed, I think. Yo, let's go. We got the gold Charizard and the gold Pikachu. Let's take these out really quick. Sometimes these can chip. I know a lot of people had a lot of trouble with that, especially when you 
grading. Yeah, I mean, this looks pretty good. Can you still grade these? I'm not exactly sure, but it's nice to see that. I actually didn't have that. We got the gold Pokeball. We got the gold Pikachu V. Nice. And so it looks like we have, uh, I think this is the McDonald's set. Oh, I like the way it's ordered. So we got like the first gen Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle over here. Then next we got Chikorita, Cyndaquil, and Totodile. I like how they did this. I like this a lot. And we got three of each, which is pretty cool. Okay, next we got, ooh, okay. We got some Mewtwo promos up there. We got the Pikachu. This is the WD promo. Yep, that's that. We got two ancient Mews. Look at these Entei's. I like these Entei's. There's this promo right here, which uh, has the hollow. Birthday Pikachu, That th these are from the 25th anniversary. Some Greninjas from the ETB. Oh. Oh, that's the heat we were looking for. These are the primes. These are prime cards from, from way back when. Look at that, we have the Gengar Prime, the Absol Prime, the Kingdra Prime, the Scizor, Yen Mega, we got the Ursa Ring, we got the Electrode, the Slow King, the Mew, for alligator, two of them, actually. The Celebi, we got two Meganiums and a Blissey and the Ampharos and the Typhlosion. Dude, that is sick. We have like a collection of primes here, which is cool. And if you imagine like these older packs that you'd have to open, I mean, there were not primes in every pack and you might not even get them in a booster box. So we have, you know, 17 here right in front of us, which is just amazing. I, I think my favorite is the Gengar for sure. Those primes did it, that, that made it awesome. But still, I may have overpaid. So, you tell me in the comments. How did I do? The benefit of this is a lot of the money spent on these cards are a result of you, the subscriber, and watching the videos. I give most of the cards away, so make sure to hit subscribe because on September 21st, that's when we have our big live poker party. More in the description below. I don't want you to miss it. It's gonna be a ton of fun. So thank you so much to Michael for selling these to me. And while you're here, click on one of these videos so that you can see some other stuff that I bought. Uh, maybe some not so good stuff too.